hello guys good afternoon you welcome back to my channel my name is olivia if you just see me for the first time thank you welcome i'm a nigerian who lives here in south africa i've been living here for over a decade and i live here with my family okay so um if you're not yet subscribed to this channel please do well to hit on the subscribe button just a click away from you and it's free and i'm um, going to do hit on the bell sign on the notification bell that way you'll be notified of my subsequent videos okay so to all my returning subscribers thank you so much it's been a minute i've been off and on life happened but um thank you for sticking around thank you for hanging around yeah okay without further ado let's just jump right into the video okay in today's video is a fun one i'm not serious you know those i'm sure those are the kind of videos you guys like remember guys i have been living here in south africa for over 10 years like i mentioned and originally i'm from nigeria i i grew up in nigeria i was born in nigeria so i just want to tell you the culture clashes between south africa and nigeria i'll just i don't know if it's the real definition but in my own opinion i'll just define culture clash as something like of course culture is something that in a, a group of people do which is what you know as your culture okay so a cultural clash to me it's the same thing when a group of people do a certain thing but they probably do it in different ways okay, okay. i hope you understand so it's a cultural clash things that clashes in terms of culture is not a dictionary definition but I just came up with this definition and i just want to make this i don't know what to term this video but in fact a culture clash things that nigerians do south africans do but they probably do it in different ways not to say that in any way which maybe one country does it is better than the way the other country does it but it's just different ways that they do these things and sometimes one other country might be like wow do you guys do this and the other country might be like wow these guys do this like this okay so <laughs> that's what this video is all about okay all right so before i talk about the first cl culture clash i'll just read a comment and this um, video was actually based from a comment from my previous videos i'll read a comment where a subscriber wrote down okay he says i think he's a guy he says now this happened to me in nigeria culture shock or clash okay he actually named it the culture clash so i agree with him i i think he was in lagos so he said i hired a taxi to lagos i was the first person inside the taxi that was it happened to him in lagos the driver later asked me there is a man who will come with us i said no problem in 20 minutes okay all right in 20 minutes we arrived at the gate he came inside so apparently he hired this taxi then the driver now said okay there's somebody else that will join us he was like okay so when they got to the gate he said we got to the gate he came inside the taxi then the taxi drove off only for the man to shout and tell me i don't have manners <laughs> <laughs> i can already start imagining the man man's face i was baffled he expected me to greet him where i come from if you find me inside the house like a taxi you are the one to greet me first okay i will also tell nigerian friends is a culture clash if you come to my house and you greet first okay so the guy saw this um particular chat i laughed i laughed to my tea so because it happens to me here all the time and that was when i came earlier with my husband and me uh, let me just give this very practical example when we used to have living nannies i no longer have living nanny at the moment when we used to have living nanny somebody that used to work for us if my husband comes out in the morning the living nanny will just keep quiet they will not say hello and my husband found it very very baffling that you come into my house and uh, okay um you are in my house and you don't greet me in the morning because that's what we know in nigeria in nigeria if you're an older person to me even if i come in there first like if i'm i just walk in and you see an older person hello 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 but in south africa the the reverse is the case if you meet me somewhere and you're a south african you have to greet me first it doesn't matter if you're older or you're younger so it's like a cultural clash my husband will, will be like this, this this girl that you brought or this person doesn't greet why i'm like I, oh i don't know why she doesn't greet you it's true she doesn't greet you right but i also notice they don't greet me but i don't find it offensive because i mean it's fine but for him he's like oh but you live in my house why is that so when i say asking all those maybe aunties 
is it that you don't greet? You people don't greet. Hmm? Be like, no. If you come out to the, uh, maybe I'm washing dishes in the kitchen now, and you come out, you're supposed to say hello to me. I'm like, oh, really? Yes. <laughs> They'll say yes. Even there was a nanny that was very offended and she left because she says that my husband doesn't greet her. Like, really. It was a very big culture clash. But I think, no, I think, I know that we've outgrown past that stage where we, we now know that if you see somebody, I, I don't even want to know if I, I, I see you before or I meet you anything, I just greet. But in Nigeria, you see, in that um, chat, the guy was like, the man said that the South African guy doesn't have respect, he doesn't have manners because he entered the taxi and the guy didn't greet him. And the guy was like, he said he's a red cap chief and all that. Because in Nigeria, if you see an older person, you greet first. But in South Africa, if an older person sees you in a place, where they meet you first the grid so that was a big culture clash and i hope you guys understand now so the reasons for making this video is for you to understand how various people behave the way they behave and it, so you don't find, find it offensive or, or pick offense to all this kind of behavior so that's the first culture clash south africans the we greet the other way and south africans greet the other way so that's it. The second culture clash I would say is that if you're here to buy something, maybe you you want to buy something on the roadside. It's a culture in Nigeria that if you're, if I'm buying something, I can ask you for what we call extra or jara. It's like the normal name is like give me jara, give me jara. But let's say I'm buying peanuts. Even if I, I know you're not going to agree or most times you agree, it's like a culture for me to ask for an extra. But in South Africa here, we find it very offensive for you to ask me to give you an extra after you've paid for the one you paid for. Like, <laughs> initially when I came, I used to like, ah, are you not giving me an extra? They'd be like, why? Like, in South Africa here, they find it like you're putting me on a spot. You're putting me on, in a, on a tight corner if you're asking me to give you extra after buying the one you've bought. So they find it very weird. But in Nigeria, it's a culture. And like, so it's a clash. If it's something like, okay, let me just say my nail tech now. I can't ask her to, to give me um, or give me a discount now when it's not her sales time. They would rather maybe try and make up sales for say February. They will make up, they will try and make um, Valentine sales and she'll, she'll put a discount there. Okay, so it's also a, a culture clash that it's not sales time. So why are you asking me to? To give you a discount like really but in nigeria is a normal thing like i'd be like if you see your nail tech or your hair person you'd be like ah, and i'm um, better give me discount i've paid too much all the time i used to come here and pay <laughs> give me discount today even if you know that the person will not agree or even if you're not expecting it you're just it's like a culture we we find joy in, in me giving me give me 10 round discount or five round discount but in south africa here the it's weird for them for you to you know the price right you know the price so why are you asking me for discount so this is the third culture shock asking for discount when it's not the product is not as special at the time or i'm not running a special why are you asking me for discount i find it very weird for you you to ask them for a discount while nigeria is a normal thing like you always want to ask for discount or you always want to ask for extra like give me give me an extra now give me jara now give me in Igbo land we call it maize give me an maize now give me maize so like those are the culture clashes they'll be like what's what's wrong with this one you're asking for a, 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 a discount or you're asking for an extra so those are the culture clashes so it's not like the way south africans do it is bad disclaimer you know i always say it or it's not like the way nigerians do it is is bad but it's just the culture that we are used to as as people you know so our culture guides us we're a product of our culture we're usually a product of our environment and it's always interesting to see different people's culture and the way different people find things weird something you find normal or something you find like a normal scenario it, another person might find it like oh okay what's this so yeah those are the culture clashes yeah south africans find that bidding that is number the third one the big bidding and um the bargaining the second one the bidding and the bargaining they find it very weird they find it very offensive kind of tell me on the comment section what do you guys think do you think i'm correct have you ever come in contact with a nigerian or a south african and 
you you saw this culture clashes so the next culture clash is not necessarily a social thing or it's like really a cultural thing we are by south africans and nigerians south africans do circumcision and nigerians do circumcision and um the first time i noticed that south africans circumcise a male child maybe when they are a little bit older i find it i found it very weird and i was talking to my friend then when i was in school in case they then they were like ah, you circumcise a baby they found it very weird so we were almost like ah, yours is weird mine is weird and but not in a bad way so we she found she found it very very weird that yeah i told her that they normally circum we normally circumcise a baby after immediately they are seven weeks and so i found it also weird that okay why would you circumcise somebody that is already grown so it's when i later started talking to my husband he's like yeah that's a culture here you they also circumcise just like nigerians but the circumcision has to happen maybe when they are grown or when they are, are a bit matured or some even in adulthood and sometimes they even have a ceremony and I'm, I'm like oh, really and so yeah i found it as a culture clash and that my friend also found it like a culture clash a baby you people hurt a baby is also like piercing of ear for for b baby girls we pierce our baby girls in nigeria at the youngest maybe a week yeah even some people pierce them in the hospital immediately they are born and when i came when i wanted to pierce my youngest baby they were like how old is she where i went to pierce i said she's two months they said no no please come back when she's six months even they're like in their mind i'm sure they were like even that six months is <laughs> she's too young they said you want to hurt the baby i said no but we pierce very early they said no sorry we don't pierce a baby so tiny she's so tiny oh she's so i'm like oh my god what is all this <laughs> i laugh so it was a culture clash my baby's cry so um the last culture clash i noticed is that um this is my own personal experience i don't know if that's right i noticed that south africans don't like to to receive help like from you they'll they'll rather it's fine no don't no don't worry it's fine they don't want to receive any kind of help from you in in the sense that um they don't expect something like too much from you unlike nigerians we like to receive any help bring it up bring it up just for instance um when, when i'm i see an older person in the queue an elderly person in the queue i'm like i can just say oh sorry my it's fine go she'll be like oh no it's fine no it's fine go i'll be like okay i find it shocking <laughs> the culture is like a clash because from nigeria where i come from an older person will even expect you low-key to why why is this small girl not allowing me to pass can't she see my 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 feet aches i also experienced it with my mom when my mom came around by the way my mom came and she left you guys so she already left i put it out in a vlog okay but my mom you know she's getting old and all that so when we go to the mall and there's a long thing she'll be impatient i'll be like in her mind she doesn't really say literally but in her mind she'll be like oh, these people can't they see an older person and i'm in their mind mommy just calm down the queue is going is moving eh <laughs> and in my mind i'll be like nobody is leaving this <laughs> nobody is allowing you move except in on, maybe few cases where the um, the shop has a policy you know it's just usually a shop policy like food lovers i know they usually have that policy when i, w I was pregnant okay that was, it's only food lovers i can remember that will allow you pass as an older person or maybe you're kind of you know they feel you need it but generally people in the queue just nobody's even looking at you do your thing they are doing their thing so i found it shocking i found it to be a culture clash between south africa and nigeria that if even if you are on the other end where you see an older person that needs you know to move forward and you'll be like okay i can i can be behind you they'll be like no it's fine no it's it's okay and so i i begin to think okay that's how the average south africans think maybe they don't like to stress you they don't like to like take help from you and they don't want to just be on your lane focus focus on the queue <laughs> focus on the queue you know it will get to your turn soon and uh, i'm focusing on the queue i know it will get my to my turn soon so those are the a few culture clashes i could remember between nigeria and south africa if you know any that uh, the, i've mentioned a lot of culture shocks in my previous videos which a lot of things which are shocking like you know south africa and the way they are patient and so i've mentioned a lot of sh um videos 
and um yeah you can go and watch the culture shock videos the, the videos that are really culture shock but those are the ones that i think that culture clashes okay if you're not yet subscribed to the channel please hit on the subscribe button if you can see a change in quality of this video just know that lucia didn't just hit us in the middle of this video and um that's why but i mean we have to end this video um so if you're not yet subscribed please subscribe share this video like comment tell me if you have any culture clash or even a culture shock between nigeria and south africa tell me on the comment section and um tell me what you think on the comment section subscribe if you're not yes subscribe share it to people so that they will watch and understand the cultures between these countries and i will see you guys in my next one bye bye